Frontline Oast Samaritan Advice, I think, is, is here to stay, at least for now. Um, you know, a 19-month progression-free survival is pretty impressive for a very well-tolerated drug. So for me right now, it's tough to imagine in the frontline combinations really coming in and beating that, both in terms of tolerability and in terms of outcome. Um, I think the combinations will really come in uh, in the treatment of resistance to osimertinib. We're going to see more and more patients who are progressing on these drugs. Right now, we don't have any standard options for people who progress on osimertinib, except for cytotoxic chemotherapy, which I think many of our patients would like to avoid if possible. I think that's to be determined. So right now, normally, if people get erlotinib, afatinib, or gefitinib in the front line, then get osimertinib at resistance, I really don't go back to the TKIs when they progress. I tend to go straight towards chemotherapy. With osimertinib, we're learning more about the resistance mechanisms now, and there is some data that patients who progress with a C797S resistance mutation may actually maintain responsiveness to first or second generation agents, at least preclinically. I think clinically we don't have the data we need yet. So that'll be something to look for in the future. And then again, I think the combinations to try are going to be very important in this setting, like the Tatin trial with the MET inhibitor in combination with osimertinib is very promising. Mm -hmm.